What's up, as time and tell us, how y'all doing today? Well, if you are Kim Kardashian mama, once again, she is doing the most. Do you know in the middle of all the mayhem, all the, like, literally, the, the, the barn's on fire, the chickens are running outside, the goats are looking for whatever, the cows are literally like, moo, what's going on? There is nothing but mayhem, mayhem going on. And we know why it's being caused. Kim literally, as usual, is using this to try to get leverage. Now, let me just say this, right? Whatever happens between her and yay in this custody battle, listen, just pray for the babies because both of them, it's just like, what do you want? Bad or wassa? The pressure is always getting wassa. But you know, she had the nerve to get this in that she thinks that Ray J's hangout with Kanye West was completely disrespectful. Now, listen, I'm going to break this down. It's a lot of BS. Buckle up because let me tell you something. Kanye lost his MF in mind. I'm off of him, right? I don't see how he's ever coming back from this. But I just want to say, just because Ye's wrong does not make you right, Kimberly. Baby, it does not make you right. It has not escaped our attention that you're still the one. You are still the one. Anyway, right? Kim didn't appreciate her exes, Kanye West and Ray J reuniting for a film premiere. First of all, as much as you didn't appreciate that stuff with Ray J, um, can we call Kimberly Noel uh, Kardashian to the front of the church? Because it has not escaped our attention that you have done zero to send a cease and desist, to take them to court, to threaten Ray J, or to do anything. You haven't even sent your dogs out to put a negative story about him. I'm just saying. And Ray J blew up your spot. Candace Owens said she had tapes. What have you done about that? Nothing. But you want to comment on how you didn't appreciate Kanye and Ray J? I see what Kim's doing. At least this is my opinion, right? You're trying to find a way to paint yourself as a victim again because it was so successful when you were with Pete. That's why you're even releasing statements that like, oh my God, guys, Pete texted me. Did y'all know Pete's texting me? Texting me? which I also believe is utter BS. I think she's desperate to get back to that time when uh, Jay was public enemy number one and she was just like flawless and angel shining and like a victim and Trevor Nova was coming out being like, stop, I'll save you. I do remember that. And again, just because Jay lost his damn mind doesn't mean that we forgot about DL, Trevor Noah, Kim and all that other nonsense, right? Literally. Okay, so get this. Kim Kardashian was not pleased after news broke over two exes, Kanye reuniting with Ray J at the film premiere. Both men were in attendance for the event where they came face to face for some red carpet snapshots. Now I do wanna say this, Kim is an expert at manipulating Ye and Ray J. Now I know what you might be saying after this last couple of weeks, maybe they both two dummies that are easy, you know, shucking and jiving, doing the thing, right? I know what you're saying, but my whole point is she is an expert for whatever reason, their fault or hers, at manipulating them. The way this is written, remember how she had Ray J on a string and he was like, yo, I saw what you said, I'm keeping on the Kardashian premiere. What's up with that? And she's like, no, just chill, don't worry, it's gonna be okay. And he fell for it. The way this is written, it makes me wonder, who's this for, Ray J or Kanye? Are you saying you're mad at Ray J for reuniting with Kanye or Kanye for reuniting with Ray J? I just want to know. But if you're really that mad, why don't you bring Nick Cannon into it? Oh, yeah, you know, Kanye bought Nick Cannon to North basketball game. For what reason? I think to antagonize Kim. If you didn't know, Kim and Nick Cannon used to be heavy. Google it. Anyway, right? Um, They say... Kim doesn't get why, doesn't get Ray J's end game. Wait, doesn't get what Ray's end game is here. Oh, so this isn't about Kanye. This is about her trying to appeal to Ray J's sympathy to call the dogs off. She thinks he's being disrespectful and wishes he'd move on already. Um, Kimberly, I believe Ray J told you what he needed to move on. That would be you and your mama and anybody else that was in on the big lie to actually confess, or at the very least, confess in dollars in his bank account. He said what it's gonna take for him to go away and shut up. What's the problem, right? 
Kim doesn't understand why people want to pursue this drama so much when he claims how much he hates it. Oh, I get it, Kim. So the people that don't follow Ray J are going to fall for this narrative? Mama, I I, I mean, listen, if nobody, ex I, I'll explain it to Kim, what Ray J's purpose is, right? But again, s pursue this much drama. I never underestimated the fact of Kim will cause calam cal calamity, devastation for the nation. Then when it all blows up, she always finds two men to pit themselves against each other and then be like, I don't want to be drama, just let it go. But she's the one that caused it. Yo, she needs to, she needs to teach a master class. Or should I say Chris Jenner? Because Chris Jenner taught, taught her that, right? That's at least that's what I think. People get it from the mama. She's decided to tune them out and remain focused on the things in her life that matter to her. All right, Kim, I see what you're doing. Kim's not happy to see Ray J trying to get close to Kanye. Poor Kim is sick to her stomach over everything that's going on with Ye right now, but she's got to keep a smile on her face and act like she's fine because the last thing she wants for her kids is to upset by, be upset by any of this. It's not why Kim's been gloating on her Instagram stories and on her Instagram feeds that Kanye has literally burnt through whatever respect he had. And now he's trying to do damage control and stop it. But at this point, everybody's look, everybody from every demographic is looking at him like, you know, from him make, handing out free shirts, those t-shirts from his thing, handing them out to the homeless and taping the homeless walking by. I'm not even gonna stop because that was actually so dystopian and so disgusting. Like, um, I'm not even gonna get into that, but here we go. Um, You've been gloating. You even did a thirst trap selfie with your butt to the camera, basically saying, kiss my AAS. And now you're trying to play like, you're the one that doesn't want any drama. She is the drama anyway, right? Um, Okay, she thought, because the last thing she wants is for her kids to be upset by any of this. Her kids are going to be upset that Ray J is trying to make sure his kids don't see their dad as the R word. Her kids are going to be upset that Ray J says, what about my kids and my mom and all this stuff? Hmm. Wow, Kim, you play the victim so well. She said they love their dad so much and she feels that he needs to protect them from anything negative about him. No matter what he puts her through personally, that's just the kind of mom she is. So the fact that Ray J is trying to stir the pot right now is not appreciated to say the least. Do you want to unpack that or should we, move? you know what, let's unpack because that's what we do on this channel. But I just, the goal, the, the nerve, the gall, the sheer, the audacity, the sheer unmitigated gall of this woman to, again, of course, when your kid's father is going through, I don't even know what he's going through anymore. Instead of trying to protect the kids, you're releasing press releases because you are obsessed with everybody forgetting your your tape origins you're obsessed with everybody forgetting that and you want everybody to see you as this serious businesswoman but you're also what are you trying to protect your kids against you literally just did an interview magazine cover promoted it and it's still on your instagram feed with your a out what well, i'm sorry do, do do they think i don't know i don't know i think at this point they know how their mom got on top does it matter how you made a billion dollars as long as you made it i guess it matters to kim Ray J stirring the pot. Again, Ray J asking for his, his respect is stirring the pot. A third friend close to the reality star explained, Kim thought that Kanye and Ray J could not disrespect her any more than they already have, but Kim, you disrespected Ray J and you disrespected yourself and Kanye disrespects everybody. Man, y'all deserve each other. I actually feel sorry for whoever Kim and Kanye dates next. They are like, the four horsemen, they are the locusts. They are the floods. They are the plagues that the book of revelations promise us. That is Kim and Kanye, and they will unleash it on whoever steps into their fray. Man, Jane Jones is literally probably laughing her butt off, sitting in her California coastal styled house with, and you know, Chaney Jones probably, she looks like she has like, you know, for uh, Halloween and fall, she has like the, the cinnamon pine cones and the cinnamon broom from Trader Joe's. Like she looks like she's a decorator. So she's probably sitting there in her fall house, just sitting there with her little mug, drinking a pumpkin, like spiced coffee and being like, hmm, 
right? You got out. And somewhere, Julia Fox is laughing her butt off. Anyway, could not disrespect her any more than they already had. How did, but again, the fact that they're quoting this, but nobody ever asked these people. So how did Ray J disrespect her? How did Ray J disrespect her? I didn't know that demanding your rights was being disrespected. But Ray J fell for this for 10 years. So I'm guessing this article is going to hit home and he's going to start to feel guilty and show her mercy. Anyway, the fact that they would show a public display of friendship for one another right after Ray J just put her and Chris on blast absolutely blows Kim's mind. She does not understand anything that Kanye is doing right now. Kim, and I will say this in my mind, is enjoying every second of this. And again, would I enjoy seeing my mortal enemy destroy themselves? Yeah, I chuckle. I chuckle. But Kim, you ain't got a lie to kick it. We all know you're enjoying this. Stop trying to take the high road. It is not a good look for you, especially when you're posting subs on your Instagram live. My opinion, people, right? Um, and she know and he knows more than anyone the hurt that Ray J has caused her. She's absolutely upset by this and she let Kanye know this. How does she let Kanye know this when she just released 20 um articles saying that she does not talk to Kanye at all and it's turned his back, her back on him and he can sink all by himself. I'll tell you one thing, Kim better hope Kanye really does sink because one thing I know for sure about Kanye, he can be very, very vindictive and obsessed with people that were against him. Kim, you better hope he doesn't climb out of this hole because when he does, you gonna have the force of the whole fire nation on you. Seriously, you gonna have, listen, if Kanye fall, climbs out of this hole he made for himself, he is literally going to be on some fire nation mess. So everybody that watched uh, the cartoon, um, uh, that last airbender, y'all know what I'm talking about. Not the, not the M. Night Shyamalan, mm -mm 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 -mm. the actual cartoon that will change your life. Everything you need to know about life is really in the last airbender. That's another thing. How the hell was Kanye doing that dumb white t-shirt, right? The long sleeve t-shirt. How was he doing that dumb t-shirt when you could have did an airbender, uh, style collection? Like, please. Anyway, right? She absolutely upset. She's Kim's absolutely upset by this, and she let Kanye know this. But her family told her to blow it off, as it's obvious that Kanye is disregarding her feelings for its own agenda right now. I can't. Oh my God, I can't. Listen, but they actually did. Um, Ray J and Kanye's, I guess, or somebody's spokesperson said there's a lot of history that goes back for years between Ray J and Kanye. So it was great feeling coming together to show support for a good cause. <laughs> Despite Ray J and Kanye's rocky past, the vibe truly felt like they had put that behind them to focus on the bigger picture here. Yeah. As for everything they both experienced with Kim and her family, it's almost a situation where the enemy, the enemy of your enemy is your friend. Ray J feels like the only drama he ever had with Kanye involved the Kardashians, but you said Kanye tried to blacklist you. And he'd rather not argue with someone that uh, that have done them wrong in his eyes. After everything that's happened, Ray feels like it's time to put the beach between him and Kanye in the past. The premiere was all about love and positivity. And although Ray had no idea where things will go from here, it's good to see they both could be men and focus on most important things. Okay, let me tell you something, two things, right? Um, I believe the film premiere was in New York. And I believe New York is a state that you only need one person's permission to record a conversation. I hope Ray J went to that premiere because he was leaning close to Kanye being like, yeah, so remember when I gave you the laptop? Like what happened with that? And I hope Kanye is like, oh yeah, I remember that footage. Yeah, I gave it to Kim and she said to lie and destroy it. I hope he went to that film premiere to get Kanye on tape. Second of all, poor Ray J. He always seems to be a pawn in somebody's game because you went to that premiere I don't know why. I guess it's a stupid reason. And then Kanye went and set the world on fire. And now you have pictures associated with them. Y'all, listen, you can't make this up. But let me tell you something. Kim can try to play the victim all she wants. But all I have to say is not on my watch. All right? Get out of here. Skedaddle. Anyway, y'all, let me know what you think in the comments. And I will talk to you later. Bye.